Welcome back. There's a very big and special softball game coming up with uh, Hope Inc. and the Fargo Post 2 team. We've got some special guests joining us today, Bill, Jeff, and Gunner with Fargo Post 2. All three of you guys, thanks so much for being here. I love this idea. Whose brainchild was it? Well, I had, uh, um, I had thought about it. We have a, a, an all-state, uh, we have a, a Jarvis Weist is on the um, Hope Inc. wheelchair softball team, and he works for uh, Fred Hag. Um, who owns it, and Fred has a uh, son that plays on post two. So we just thought it would be uh, an, a great event to get uh, these teams together and uh, give post two the experience of playing some adaptive wheelchair softball. And so are you guys going to be raising money for the event, or what's the event going to be all about? Um, no, it, it's, uh, it's just an event to come and uh, experience Hope Inc. and uh, um, to have fun with it. It's going to be a lot of fun tonight. I'm not raising any money. People can come. If you want to donate some cash, I'm sure we'll take it. I was going to say. But, but, <laughs> I'm just trying to help you. No, out. thank you. You know, we'll, we'll probably have a jar out there now that you think about it. A jar. We need at, something. At, yeah, we'll have a jar. So you know, feel free to donate. But come on out and watch. It's going to be a ton of fun. So when and where? And it sounds like a blast. Uh, it's out at the Miracle Field out in Moorhead. Um, I'm not exactly sure of the address or whatever, but uh, it starts at 6.30. Um, people can come and go as they please, it seems like, so it'd be a lot of fun. And so, Bill, tell us a little about your story and how you ended up getting into softball. And Yeah, so I've been a wheelchair athlete for 30-some years and um, uh, met with Adair about five years ago in uh, healthcare accessories, and she said we're going to try adult sled hockey. So that's how I got in with the program, and then since then we've been doing sled hockey, softball, basketball, track and field, and it's just growing. Good for you. Yeah. And you're being super humble. You won a bronze medal back in 96. You yeah, know, yeah. Us, I did. Tell us a little bit about that story. Yeah, that was, that was exciting. Um, I managed to go to the 92 Paralympics in Barcelona, no medals, and then uh, made it qualified again in 96, and uh, made it to two finals, uh, the 5,000 meters, and... Um, then in the, the 400 was my last event, and I managed to get third. So, Jeff, congratulations. He, he's a great uh, person to have with Hope Incorporated. Not only is he a great athlete in all their sports, but he mentors the other adults. He mentors the kids, and uh, just a, a huge part of our program. I think it's just fantastic. Talk about playing softball. I mean, seeing you with the one arm like that, that, that looks very, very challenging. Yeah, and Jarvis is the one that kind of started that. I mean, we were trying to do it two-handed, and it's kind of hard to do sitting down. So Jarvis started the one-handed kind of golf swing, and uh, now most of the guys are doing that. Works pretty well. Anybody hit it out of the park? Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys are in trouble, Gunnar. Oh, yeah. You got some <laughs> tall shoes to fill there. So. Yeah. So talk about a little bit about your year, and uh, you guys had a lot of success or recently at Target Field. You know, it, it was a really special year. We always talk about going to Shelby, but you never really – you know, expect to go there. Uh, I remember at the beginning of the year, my grandpa was asking me, you know, how's the season going to be? And I kind of, you know, told him, I was like, hey, if, if there's a year to do it, it's this year. You knew. Yeah, huh? I knew. Well, I didn't know, but I had a hunch. You know, we had six guys back from college. We had a lot of key pieces. Um, and then we had a lot of really good young kids who played on our 16-year-old team coming up who they actually won um, a Class A Legion title last year and then a Class A regional title. So, um, you know, we always, we always want to go to Shelby, but you know, the thoughts there, but actually getting there is really special. I got to ask you, and I, I know we'll get back to the wheelchair thing, but also the 13 year olds went undefeated. Yep, 56 you and 0. You got to be licking your chops a little bit, right? Well, yeah, you know, we, we, <laughs> we are licking our chops, you know. Um, we're, we're expecting a lot of great things from, uh, you know, Fargo Youth Baseball coming up and playing um, Legion Baseball in the future, so we're really excited for them. I mean, just because you guys are all, you know, playing the sport a little bit, I mean, what, what, what do you think is going on in North Dakota? We've also kind of become a baseball mecca. You know, I. People say that we're, we're starting to become this baseball mecca. I've always thought we have been. You know, we've, we've got guys like Roger Maris coming out, um, guys like Rick Helling, Chris Coe. So we've got ex-professional baseball players. Now guys from West Fargo like Matt Strom and Andy Young making noise out there. I think, you know, I just think it's more involvement from, you know, the lower ages and, and really skill development that are, you know, making us be able to make noise at that national level. Congratulations. Thank Let's you. Talk, uh, final thoughts on what's going on tonight. Again, how people can participate and have some fun. Yeah, just coming out and watch. Again, uh, uh, wheelchair softball game between Post 2 and Hope Inc. Uh, um, there's going to be a lot of energy. And again, hopefully the weather holds. It sounds like it's not going to rain. Uh, um, people are welcome. We'd love to see a crowd out there and kind of see what, what it's all about. And uh, again, also an opportunity to congratulate Post 2 for their incredible season.
Can't wait till you guys win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take it to we'll those young pups. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for being here. We appreciate Thank you. it. Have fun. All right, stick around. We got much more coming up right here on North Dakota Today.